It's Friday the 8th of March. It's 3.30 p.m. We got the house that we applied for. <laughs> I'm in shock. It doesn't feel real. It probably won't feel real for the first month, probably. Like, I can't fathom that it's... Yeah. Oh. Today has been such an emotional day. I had a chiropractic appointment this morning and I just felt very overwhelmed and I was crying and like I felt so just down about my back and just where I'm at with everything. And then I got a call saying we got the house. My brain is just like, holy shit. And our lease is gonna commence on Wednesday and today's Friday. So, oh. Like I can't fathom it and this is so new to me because I've never rented before my boyfriend has so he'll kind of know But they've sent through like the contract and it's super overwhelming because I'm just like, oh my goodness What is all of this? But Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The house is so perfect for us We really didn't like settle for anything and I never thought we'd really one find somewhere because I think a lot of people declined because of Charlie and to find somewhere that was like the location we wanted, the like space we wanted, enough yard and stuff for Charlie because my dream is to like live in an apartment. I think Charlie would do okay in an apartment but I really wanted to still give her a yard and stuff like that so we've honestly got that and oh my goodness. It's a bit scary because now I'm like, I'm gonna be renting and I also have this house, which I get a lot of questions about, which Elise and her partner are still gonna stay here and they will rent this place, but it is a lot now. It's definitely gonna be an adjustment. It's funny because all I've wanted is to, you know, find somewhere and move. But as soon as we get it, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't wanna move, like, I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave my comfort zone. I know this is just gonna be such a good step and it's a great distraction as well from my old back, which is not in a bad situation. I just felt a little bit overwhelmed with it today. Anyway, we're gonna be doing a moving vlog. I love moving vlog. Well, hopefully moving vlogs. It's also bittersweet though, because it's the end of an era here. I've been here for three years. Do you guys remember when I like moved here and I had all my moving vlogs? That was such a happy time in my life. I was so excited to be like living here. And then of course, like living with Elise and her partner, we've lived together for the last two years, over two years. So that's like bittersweet, but I know that I'm still gonna obviously see Elise and stuff. I'll probably actually see her more because I feel like when you live together, you kind of fall into the trap of like, you know, you just see each other and it's like, oh, hey, how was your day? And you don't really have that quality time together. So I think when you live apart, you definitely have to make more of the effort and go out of your way to do things rather than just like having it I don't know how to explain it you know what I mean I have like so many appointments next week which I'm probably gonna cancel my nail appointment I have a hair appointment but I really want to keep that because this is such a first world problem because I've been waiting for it for a long time oh I have like a lash appointment and I have two chiropractor appointments but Moving is always stressful. Even if it's like such a breeze, I feel like it's gonna be stressful. I'm so excited. It's the start of a new chapter. I'm sweating. Okay, happy Monday fam. It is the week of moving. I've booked movers. Charlie just jumped on the bed. <laughs> It's funny, like she definitely knows some, sorry the camera's shaking, she definitely knows something's up because there's stuff everywhere. I haven't filmed much of the packing up of like clothes and just, I find that personally boring. Like I think the moving in is fun, but packing up everything in this house, which is a task and a half. It's made me realize like I have so much stuff. My boyfriend has like literally nothing. Like he could easily do his stuff in one trip. Granted, because like everything here is like my furniture, you know? But oh my gosh, it took me like an entire day to just do my clothes clothes. I did a huge declutter and I gave away heaps of stuff and donated a bunch of stuff which feels really really good. I feel like I was due for a big clean out anyway so that's just nice. I've pretty much moved everything into boxes. Like look at that. It's giving me like flashbacks to when I moved in and I like hung up my stuff. That's some of my boyfriend's stuff and then I've left like one active wear set just in case I want to do something. I've like packed clothes into suitcases, a bunch of my shoes I've packed up. I need to do the bathroom still. And then obviously all the like big pieces of furniture will be done by the movers. But yeah, it's definitely a big job. It's so much different to when I moved here because I didn't really have any furniture. Oh my gosh, it's so windy today. I didn't really, and my camera's dying. I didn't really have any furniture to move here because I bought it all and it was just delivered here. It's a different story, but I'm glad that I have like started as early as I could. I've cleaned out the spare room wardrobe, a million and one coat hangers. We've got some boxes here. 
boxes here. I've cleaned out like a lot of my vanity. I probably am not going to bring my vanity. I might just give it to my mum because there's not really going to be a spot in the house for it. That's the update. Still got a lot to do. Boyfriend's at work. I don't even know how the mirror is going to be moved, but that's the situation for the movers because that thing is 65 kilos, but I'm bringing it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. It was so expensive. I'm pretty sure it was over a thousand dollars. Mirrors are just so expensive, but I love it. It's like my prized possession. Obviously the dining table. We're going to take the couch. Might end up getting a new couch though, because this one's pretty gross. But we'll see. I'm not going to like get one for now. But the nice thing is we don't really need to get any like huge pieces of furniture. Don't have to worry about moving my beast of a fridge because there's one built in. Dishwasher's fine. We get the keys, I'm pretty sure, on Wednesday. But we'll be doing the move on Friday of like everything. My car currently is packed to the brim of stuff. So when we get the keys on Wednesday, I'll probably do like a drop off of some stuff. So will my boyfriend. Plus, it's not like a five minute drive to move either. It's like a 50 minute drive so it's not like a oh let's just do a couple trips like no this is gonna take a while and i'm grateful that elise and her partner are living here so it's not like i have strangers here and i'm like hi can i just like get my stuff anyway oh yeah when i get my hair done on thursday i might also do another round so we'll have stuff there oh and i'm also planning on getting a new bed because i've been thinking about getting a king size bed i've mentioned this before so i think i'm gonna make my bed like the spare room bed and then get us a new bed i need to go to the supermarket because i need to do a load of washing and get some more like bin bags and i want to tackle the bathroom it's all happening i love moving vlogs i hope you guys are excited it was almost like the universe was like it's all right like i was having such a bad day or well, not a bad day but a bad mental day with my with my back and stuff on Friday and I was honestly just crying I think it was a combination of my period because it wasn't she didn't she wasn't telling me like you're never gonna be able to run again like no it wasn't anything close to that I think I was just overwhelmed and then yeah I got the call and she said we were approved <laughs> I'm so hot. I don't know what is happening. You know when you put like moisturizer on and it just makes you feel like you've got a layer of oil on your face? Let's go to the supermarket in silence. I was literally just on the phone with Optus for an hour trying to cancel like one of my phone plans because I have two. It's a long story. And my internet because we're switching providers when we move. We've had a different internet in this house that Elise and her partner have got because it's better and they, they're obviously going to be like switching over anyway. So I just wanted to cancel it. Oh my goodness. They literally would not let me cancel. They kept trying to offer me cheaper deals and like wanted to know which one I was changing to. And I knew they would try and make me stay but oh my goodness i was getting mad and i never get mad at people who are serving me like customer service like whatever setting if i'm buying something like i never ever ever get mad but i was getting so pissed off i was like i please like i don't like i don't want to stay let me cancel oh my goodness that took so long and it's weird because i tried to do it in store but they told me that they couldn't i don't know it was just strange but i'm glad i finally was able to cancel the internet and cancel one of my phone plans i was like i don't need two phone plans because one of them was like for something else and anyway but oh my wow oh my wow he really wanted me to stay and i was just like no i do not want to you could give it to me for free and i would still change because it sucks Anyway, now I'm gonna head to the supermarket, but I'm glad I got it done. And I set up electricity, electricity, yeah, for the new house. So we're on top of it. Look how light my hair is. Like it's genuinely looks like my natural hair color right now. It's also been pouring all day today, but let me give you an update. I'm sorry I haven't filmed anything so far, but again, I just find it so, like I've been just cleaning stuff. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. I actually, <laughs> I clean my headboard because the part where Charlie like loves to sit wedging her bum up against my side had like a dark mark and I used carpet cleaner on it and it actually looks pretty good. But yeah, I cleaned out the bathrooms. So it might look a bit messy, but I've just basically kept out things that I still use, you know, right up until, but I put everything in a container and I wiped everything down because it, these were like covered in tan. If you tan, you know, like the drawers get covered in it. These are empty. Boyfriend's side, same deal. We are getting there. I do feel a little bit stuck now because I feel like there's not, there's definitely more I can do, but I can't really fit anything else in my car. So I think I'm gonna have to probably just kind of like 
wait until I do that first unloading. That looks so pretty. The first unloading and then, you know, keep packing some stuff away. But you know what's actually really handy? I actually saw Rachel because she just moved and I've been watching her vlogs. And I just got in a package from Petal and Pop because this video is currently sponsored. Sorry about the rain. But maybe not sorry, it might actually sound quite nice. As you would have seen, literally all of my clothes are packed away. So it's kind of nice to have clothes come that are not packed away. I got a lot of like sets because I am an absolute fiend for a good like shirt set. It's just like my signature look. The rain is insane. If you guys do want to get anything off Petal and Puff, you can use the code Connor20 and that will get you a 20% discount. First up, I got this little play suit moment. This is what she looks like. It's very short, but it's super flowy and comfy. I think I might actually go up a size in this just so it's a little longer, which is funny because things are usually too long on me, but it's just a little bit short for my liking, but I think it's super, super cute. I love this. The model has it styled with a little like white um, like bandeau underneath. It's coming off a little bit more orangey on camera, but it's definitely like a bright red with a little bit of orange. Even though it's like a maxi skirt and it's red, I feel like it could be quite casual. I love that. Okay, next we have this little like flowy top. It like ties up at the back. We love her. Very different for me. Next I have this really cute little white, very pretty dress again. Sometimes I have a love-hate relationship with dresses because I feel very like this in it, but I think that's just my own weird insecurities coming through. But how pretty is she? The perfect like summery dress. I can already tell I'm gonna live in this. I have certain dresses that I just live in because they're so comfy and they're so airy. And this is gonna be one of them. This dress has pockets. This is so pretty. She definitely needs a little wash. No, I love this. This is very much a bit of me. A matching set. They have heaps of sets on the website like this at the moment. I had to restrain myself from like only ordering sets like this. I love this. And every time I wear sets like this out, I always get compliments because you just look so put together. And we are back with another set. <laughs> it's funny how like, yeah, style changes so much as you get older. Like I would never have worn these like three years ago. <gasps> I love that they kind of look like pajamas, like low key. Pockets, oh, we love pockets. I love. Okay, I didn't realize I got so <laughs> Many sets. This one's a little bit more sheer. They're all like super different fabrics, so they're different, okay? I always like to wear them kind of loose around my shoulders, and then I sometimes tuck in like the front part. And then I can always pair them with my comfy sandals, and it's always a look. Oh, yes! This is just like a really nice top. This would go really nice with a pair of jeans. But I also got a pair of shoes <gasps> oh my god they're beautiful oh, stop it they are gonna go with everything oh my gosh they're so pretty <gasps> oh I'm so excited to wear those aren't they nice I can deal with a heel like that anything higher my planner fasciitis says no all right this is the top I love the high neckline I feel like it's very nighttime appropriate and like professional looking you know this says I'm 25 whereas like the set say I'm 25 this says I'm 25 super cute I don't have many like full-length tops because I'm a child you know I only have crop tops um I'm gonna hang everything up because everything else I own is packed away so this is gonna be my wardrobe thank you so much to Petal and Pop for sponsoring this vlog if you guys want to shop anything it'll be in the description box down below and my code is Connor20 let's keep packing It's moving day, pretty much. <laughs> I've literally just had a second shower because I keep sweating from moving stuff around. <clears throat> I slept in my tent last night and I haven't done that in the longest time and I hate it. I don't like it. I feel like it also always overdevelops on my hands. So just a reminder of myself. 
don't, don't sleep in your tent, but I didn't have an option. I thought I had a chiropractor appointment at 9 a.m. Turns out it's actually at 3.30 p.m., which is kind of cool because it means that I can leave to go get the keys sooner because I was going to go after the appointment um, because the real estate opens at 8 a.m. I also got my lashes lifted. My hands look orange. Nice. And my brows laminated, so I look a little bit crazy. I keep sweating. By the way, just as an FYI, this is like the greatest smelling thing ever. If you wanna smell super, super sweet, I believe it's called. It's supposed to smell like buttery popcorn. I wouldn't say it, it just smells like sweet deliciousness. It's called Let the Good Times Roll from Lush. But don't do too much because it is quite strong. Also, me sprays like five times. So good, I always get compliments on it. This is not the right thing to be wearing because I'm probably gonna like sweat. Make myself look a little bit more presentable. We're also trying to figure out how we can get our bed there because we really want to try and stay there tonight. But my bed, even though I'm planning on getting a new one eventually, it's such a big mattress, like it's super thick and it won't fit in my boyfriend's ute. So the boob sweat has started. Lovely jubbly. Um, it will not fit in his ute, so I don't know what we're gonna do there. Could we just wait till Friday? Yeah. But it's exciting, you know? But let's just... Yesterday was pretty much the same as the other days. I packed up a lot of like furniture pieces, like old stuff that we needed to take to the tip or the dump. So my dad helped me with that. Uh, we have this like Kmart, I don't know if you remember, but there's this Kmart table that I have in the backyard, like on the deck, but it's super old and gross and I knew I was gonna get rid of it. And I was like screwing off the legs and I was like, these will probably just snap off. And they did, so that's good. Tell me why I'm trying to do everything in one trip when it's pretty much impossible. I feel like we're so zoomed in. We are zoomed in. I'm also like any minute now, my period's coming. But let me just show you. I've like taken, <laughs> I've taken off the doona, the doona, like the sheets and stuff. Um, this is the wardrobe, pretty much everything gone. Bathroom, same dealio. But uh, if I just pop into the old garage, the garage, she's packed. <laughs> oh, it's so packed. La la la. Charlie, in the cup holder. This is my situation right now. We are packed to the brim. I'm actually impressed as to how much I, I fit in my car. Pretty good. Got the naked harvest. <laughs> Let's get crackalacking. We've made it. That was a little bit stressful. My Apple Maps took me to the wrong spot. I don't know if the like real estate moved locations, but I'm getting my period and I have really bad period cramps. We've made it in. I feel very like overwhelmed and I feel like my emotions, like I feel a little bit numb and it's super weird because like I'm very, very excited, but I do feel just like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I've, I don't know. Like I do feel a little bit sad, like leaving my house, I think. But here is like a little, I just opened the window, some of the kitchen. And there's like the outside part. Got like a little nook in here. The bedrooms get so much light. Are you kidding me? Look how much light that is. I'm such a light person. The living room is a little bit darker than I'm used to, so I'm definitely gonna have to get some like lamps and stuff. But the um, the bedroom gets so much light and that makes me very happy. Walk-in wardrobe, which, where's the button for this? And there's a mirror in here, which is really cool because I never had that. Whoa, there's actually heaps of space in here. But could I fill this completely up with my stuff? Yeah. The fact that we were able to find a backyard that's like honestly the same size as mine at home, well, this is home now, is so, so lucky. Like, obviously apartments don't have backyards and a lot of like houses around here, they don't really have backyards. Um, so that's very exciting. One thing I have noticed is the, oh, turn my off. Oh. There's a fan in here. The washing, we have a dryer, which is cool. But I don't think my washing machine is gonna fit. <laughs> so I may have to adjust there. But we have another big, me just giving you a house tour. Another big bathroom in here. So excited, I can't wait to like host things here. Which I know sounds funny, like why didn't you host things at your house? Um, I don't know, I think because where I lived just felt a little bit far away for a lot of people. So yeah, but oh my gosh, the new space. I've got a barbecue. My dining table is not gonna fit. 
and I don't really want to put it outside, so probably gonna have to leave her. I need to go help. Bring in some stuff. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay. I've pretty much brought in everything from the car that I packed. Oh, my boyfriend's had to go back to work. So that took me, I reckon, like 45 minutes going up and down, up and down. Oh, I don't know if you can see. I don't, I don't think I brought my camera with me. I have the worst period cramps out of all the days. Today's the day. And I'm like literally so sweaty. I'm gonna have to take a shower. Um, and I also need to remember that I have a car appointment at 3.30 that I need to get to. But yeah, this is the sitch stuff everywhere i'm gonna shower get something to eat because i have not eaten and it's 11 20 and i'm so hungry and then maybe tackle putting some stuff away that's that's gonna take me a while to not stay home go back to the old house i am in so much pain my period cramps out of all the days and I don't have any naprogesic. I am in so much pain. And I've got like nowhere to sit. Obviously I'm just like lying on the floor. I've just ordered a subway because um, I don't know, I feel like I can't even think properly. Like usually on like day one, they're pretty bad and, I have, and I'm pretty sure it's day one or it's the day before. Oh. I'm so tired and I'm like, I can't be bothered to go get anything right now, but I'm equally in so much pain. And I can't really like Uber Eats them because you have to get them over the counter. But it's going well. I just <laughs> quickly moved some of the boxes into like their like rooms where I feel like everything's gonna go quickly. I need to remember to like actually film me doing stuff instead of just talking about it. But um, pretty much it's literally nearly 12 o'clock. Oh my gosh. <sighs> None of my glasses broke though. So that's a plus. It's actually quite nice just lying here. I feel like with moving, you fall into the trap of like wanting to have everything done instantly. And that's just not the case. Like it's probably going to be like a few weeks or even a month of like, you know, getting settled and finding stuff. Like it's not going to be all done in one day, let alone one week, you know, like it's a process. Oh my God. I'm definitely going to have to get some naprogesic. <laughs> terrible <laughs> I just experienced for the past two hours the worst period cramps I've ever experienced in my nearly 25 years on this earth I was on the floor and I know you guys are gonna say you should get checked for endometriosis I am going to look more into that because I don't know if it was the stress of moving or if because I didn't eat anything today until and I didn't have my naprogesic, which is what I usually take. And it usually kicks in in about 15 minutes, does the job. It's still there and I'm only like able to get up. Oh my God, I'm going to fall over and move around now. And it's two, two o'clock. My boyfriend just left just before because I had to get him to go get the naprogesic because I could not even get up off the floor because he was at work. So, oh, don't know what the situation is there. I've taken almost... The entire daily dose don't the do not surpass you know this dose because yeah i cannot emphasize how much pain i was in <sighs> and i feel kind of like sick i've got my Cairo in like an hour and a half i also don't think we're gonna sleep here tonight i think we'll stay home because it's just oh my Louis, oh <laughs> my louis baton I, I like keep my little like louis bag i can't even think straight um so yeah, I haven't done anything. I just started hanging up clothes. I probably shouldn't just start hanging up things though, like willy-nilly, because I'm gonna have to reassess because the boyfriend gets half <laughs> and I have a lot of clothes. So I just started hanging stuff up and I do have drawers here. So I might have to get some like dividers and stuff and I'm gonna have to fold certain things of mine. But I'm such a hanger girl. Like I haven't had a chest of drawers for three years, you know? So, because otherwise that's not even, we're not gonna fit everything here, comma. So yeah, <sighs> but that is the update. Um, grateful that I'm feeling a little bit better now. Like I genuinely thought I was gonna throw up. It was that bad. If someone told me that is what labor feels like, I would believe them.
I'm sorry if that's offensive to people who have given birth, but oh my goodness. That's what I envision contractions to feel like. Like really, really bad period cramping. And I look a mess. And I was going to have a shower here, but I don't have any towels. Unless I just like use a t-shirt or something. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm feeling better because far out, that was bad. That was so bad, guys. But look at the space. These ones, woo, okay. I need to film like a, like reels and stuff of like moving in. I need to get used to the fact that there's like other people around. I definitely want to sort out the lighting sitch because the lighting is not fabulous in the living area. So, but that is fine. That is a slight compromise we can make. This I think is gonna be like the dining table because unless I get like a smaller one, but it's like lower to the ground if you can see. So I can't really take my bar stools. So I'm gonna have to get like little ones here. Yeah, maybe like two, I think. Do we think two? I've also just put all my makeup and like hair bits in this little nook. And part of me was like, ooh, maybe I make this the Taylor Swift. Maybe I make this like my little merch, not merch, um, like makeup station. Let me just turn off. Oh, that's another thing. Not to be, not to sound like I'm complaining, but it's the type of lighting in the bathrooms that where the fan turns on when you turn on the light. Let's just turn on all the lights for shits and gigs. Anyway, yeah, so I'm thinking about maybe putting like making this a makeup station but the only thing is like it's super like out in the open and I'm like I don't know whether if I want that out in the open because when I do my makeup it's never like clean so I don't know plus that's that might be like where I put I don't know these are decisions that will be made over time the office is probably going to be like my boyfriend's man cave because it's as you can see it's pretty dark in there which he loves i'm the opposite i love like light and being in like open spaces and he's like put me in a cave turn off all the lights and he's like let me do all my work and stuff maybe i won't really have an office and i'm fine with that i'm gonna actually i'm gonna unload a lot of the jumpers that i have and i'm gonna put them in the spare room wardrobe i was literally on the floor here oh my gosh Damn, these don't have coat hangers. Maybe not. I have no coat hangers to hang up my jumpers, but I honestly feel like I need to stop as well. Like I probably should just go home, <laughs> but this is home. Go back to the previous place. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's try and hang up some jeans then. We love this lighting. Isn't that just 10 out of 10? Now the kicker is, can she reach up here? I don't think so. Oh, no, you know what I should do is like hang them on, or maybe I put my jeans in this little section here. That's good. That could be the jeans section. Oh, I'm so grateful. Honestly, this place is like 10 out of 10. So grateful that I have a big enough wardrobe because most townhouses, units, apartments don't have a lot of wardrobe space, or at least not a walk in wardrobe. Okay. I'm so excited to be able to wear jeans again. Why do I have so many? <laughs> Look at them all! Ow! Okay, I actually think that looks good. Nice. Okay, air mattress is there. I am so gross. I have food on my shirt. I'm super sweaty. It is 12.30. Mm, it smells so nice in here. Oh my gosh. If you're a fan, which I'm not particularly, just one second. If you're a fan of the glass house candle in Taha. I don't love it. I think it's a bit overpowering. This is from Kmart. No. Woolworths. It's called Mason and Muse Wild Vanilla and Caramel. It's so nice. 
and it's very not overpowering but you can smell it because i hate when you light a candle and you can't even smell it i'm pretty pooped i definitely want to like have a second to chill out now i think because I've just been go 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 but we brought some extra furniture pieces so i can sit on a chair i still need to figure out how to do the gas <gasps> this will be the new kitchen I'm so excited to do like more reels and stuff and like cooking things. I'm trying to like also take photos of stuff that are like imperfections for the entry report. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I might hang up some more stuff. I got the coat hangers. I also need to end this vlog probably today because then I'll start another one when the movers come because this video is pretty long already. I need to like rake the backyard because it's got lots of like leaves and stuff on the ground but don't have to mow the lawns i'm definitely gonna get new bedding because i feel like when you move somewhere new you just need new bedding for that fresh start feeling even like furniture pieces like i don't want this to look like just a replica of what my house looked like before like i do want it to feel new and different and it's like a new chapter with my boyfriend like everything's gonna be like ours you know oh there's another curtain there that's good that's really good. All right, I need a shower.